Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. Kind of an early video for some of you. Uh, we're still going to be doing our Sunday stock talk. I just wanted to make sure that I spoke about this. Um, you guys now know that I like kind of just like making you aware of certain issues. Um, and this is something that has happened before ever since COVID. There's been some variants, right? And I'm sure a lot of you guys probably are much more well informed about this variant. You guys can share your opinions down in the comment section. But all I know is that anytime any form of a variant is released, right, and announced, uh, on top of that, when there's flight restrictions and travel restrictions, the market, as in the stock market, reacts. And I thought that that would be my job to simply talk about what stocks to maybe pay attention to that are currently selling off, either to stay away from, or if you view this to be long-term investments and you want to get them for a better deal, then you can view it as that way as well. So I really hope that you learned something new in this video. If you guys do, please consider dropping a thumbs up and of course, subscribing to the YouTube channel. So there's this new variant that supposedly originated from South Africa. The Delta variant was, I think it had two different uh, type of variants, right? Or, or I don't really understand how that necessarily works as in like two different strands. That was the one that was announced a couple months ago, right? This was after COVID. This new type of, uh, is it the Omicron variant is 15 times more of the previous one. So 30 times more of the original one, meaning that it can have 30 different ways on how it can infect people or something like that. I'm not too sure. Uh, all I know is that it is initiating a lot of travel restrictions from different countries. And guess what demand drops when we implement these travel restrictions? Well, Let's talk about it. Again, this is just for awareness and you guys can again uh, do as you please with this information. So I have this airline watch list where I added the airlines that I like to pay attention to to this watch list. American Airlines is one of them. And we've already seen on Friday when this news began to come out that it already dropped 8%. This is where American Airlines was trading at. And then we saw this huge drop, right? The reason I like talking about this is first off, we don't want to catch a falling knife, meaning that American Airlines and many other airlines right now are dropping. It doesn't mean that we have to buy the dip right now. We can allow them to drop, let them bleed, right? Let them fall. But when it finds a support, then that's where the true opportunity presents itself, which is the whole reason behind this video. It's to be aware and then to be prepared. So from where we're at right now, if it were to make a recovery to previous resistance level right around $22 a share, which is a pretty common resistance, that's 24% ROI and this is why I'm talking about it. Southwest Airline, ticker symbol LUV, is down 4% on Friday and we'll see how it opens on Monday. Save, which is Spirit Airlines for all of our people that you know like to travel with budget airlines. I'm one of them, right? 8% drop on Friday. We got Boeing Airlines, which is one of the largest manufacturers, right, for the airline industry, dropped 5.4% on Friday. We got Jets for all of our traders that like to focus on ETFs. Jets is an ETF that follows the airline industry and sector. And again, from where we're at as of right now, if we were to make a recovery to the previous resistance level, right, right around $25 a share, that's going to be a little bit over 21% ROI and Alaska Airlines. And this is just my list. If you have an airline that is publicly traded, please look into it. But from where we're at right now to previous resistance levels, 21%. You can see on average, except for Boeing Airlines, on average, these offer 20% ROI just from current price points. That's not to say that if they continue to drop, that they could potentially offer more. Again, it's not just about buying the dip blindly, but knowing when to buy the dip. So allowing it to bleed, allowing it to identify a support because who hates buying a stock too early and it continues to drop. It's one of the worst feelings. So I'm here to remind you that approach it at ease. Understand that you have time. Set effective alerts, add these stocks to your watch list if you see value in them and if you see long-term recovery potential. If you don't, then again, just take it as a grain of salt. The next ones that I wanted to talk about is what other industry, right? Ask yourself these questions. And I'm just gonna be talking about two industries right now, but comment down below. What industries get affected when new travel restrictions get implemented, right? These are the questions that I like to ask myself and we've seen it time after time Cruise lines, cruise lines more than anything, right? Because airlines are one thing, right? Those are almost essential to people that need to travel. Cruise lines 
are more of, you know, not necessarily a necessity, uh, but it's more of like, you know, people take these as vacations, right? It, it's, it's for enjoyment. It's for pleasure. So from where we're at right now, if it were to recover, this offers a 45% ROI based off of that $30 resistance. And this thing dropped 11% alone on Friday. We got Royal Caribbean. Again, look at this huge drop all the way down to $68. Just when cruise lines were about to fully get back to business, right? This restriction comes back into play, right? From $95 from where we're at right now, 40% ROI. Carnival Cruise Line, right? One of the biggest cruise line industries um, or, or companies out there. So from where we're at right now, if we were to make a recovery to previous resistance levels, which is just at $25, that's about 37% ROI. You can see the difference. Airlines, about a 20% on average ROI if it recovers to previous highs. Cruise lines are double that, right? You also have to understand cruise lines are not as essential. They don't experience the same type of demand and they might take longer to recover. So make sure you take that into consideration. I just wanted to do my part in making you aware of how the market is reacting to this. And on top of that, this, this is what really is affecting these specific industries and sectors. Please comment down below what other industries are already being affected by these travel restrictions. We're already seeing, if you guys pay attention on, on uh, the NASDAQ index, we're already seeing the NASDAQ market beginning to trade below the EMA line. And as long as more restrictions are being set in place, this, this will only restrict you know, business even more, right? Even that much more. So we can expect a further drop. So just be prepared. It doesn't mean that you have to get scared. It doesn't mean that like, oh my God, the market's going to crash. It's not about that. Pullbacks, corrections, they're healthy, right? Embrace them, but uh, but approach them and prepare for them at ease, right? You don't have to sell all of your shares. You don't have to like be super scared and not be invested in anything. Just be selective, understand what is going on, make sense of it, and take calculated risk. That's what it's all about. So I'm super excited to follow up. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be back in Arizona. I hope that you guys all had an amazing Thanksgiving weekend. I hope that your tummies are full uh, and ready for this upcoming trading week. So I'm excited uh, to finally be trading live here uh, in Arizona once again with our Learn Plan Profit 2.0 team. Uh, and friendly reminder, we are still running one of our biggest sales ever, and it's the first link in the description. It's a hundred dollars off the Learn Plan Profit 2.0 lesson library. So if you want to watch me trade live, it's literally the only group that I work with on a closer basis, and it's the first link, uh, first link down below, and it's a hundred dollars off right now. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I'll see you, Learn Plan Profit members, tomorrow at Market Open for our live trading session. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.